I want to talk to you about targets. 160,000 children stay home from school every day in the United States because they're afraid of what might happen to them on the bus or the cafeteria or the playground or somewhere. Um, there are a lot of kids that are having sleep disorders, eating disorders, um, getting depressed. So I'm very concerned about targets, very concerned about targets. But I'm also concerned about bullies because there was a fascinating study that was done over 30 years ago. A researcher went into a school where a school district where there were like 800 kids and they printed out the names of every third grade student. And then they asked all the third grade students to take a pencil and go down the list of names. And every time they came to the name of somebody that was a bully, they were to make a check mark. And all the third grade students made their check marks. They took those papers and they put them away in a filing cabinet for 10 years. They waited till the third graders were seniors in high school, and then they repeated the same process. They printed out the names of all the seniors. They asked the seniors to go down the list and make check marks in front of the names of every student they thought was a bully. Well, what they learned when they compared the two lists was that almost every student that got a check mark when they were a senior had gotten a check mark when they were in the third grade. Nothing had changed in 10 years. So the researchers were interested to see what was going to happen when they became adults. They waited 10 more years. They waited until those third grade students had graduated from high school and college and got married and had families and children. And when they tracked them down, they learned that one out of every four of the bullies that had been identified in the third grade had a criminal record by the time they were 30. So that kids who engage in bullying behaviors are not only hurting other people, they're hurting themselves because they're setting themselves up for a life of hurtfulness and possible criminal action. OK. Now, um, I want to talk to you about witnesses. <coughs> and I think that witnesses are the key to the solution of bullying. Because there was another <coughs> study. They went into a school, and they asked the teachers how frequently they intervened in bullying situations. And they took a survey, and it turns out that the teachers believed that they intervened <coughs> in bullying situations 71% of the time. Then they went back to the same school, and they asked the kids how frequently the kids intervene, the teachers intervene, and the kids said teachers intervene about 25%. Now, we think the difference is not that teachers don't care. It's that they are not there because kids who bully other children are very clever about doing it when adults are not around. But witnesses are. Now, somebody said that about 30% of all students, all the students in the country, about 30% are either bullies or targets. So if 30% of all students are bullies or targets, what percent are witnesses? Somebody I haven't called on. Yes. Let me Sa see your name. Just Saul. 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 What percent are witnesses? Seventy. Seventy percent. And that's what I would always write until one day a little girl in Cincinnati raised her hand and she said, that's wrong. And I said, 30 from 100, 70, how can that be wrong? She said, the math is right. What is wrong is that 100% of us are witnesses. Bless you. Thank you. Because even if you've been a bully or a target, you have witnessed somebody else getting picked.